Hello and welcome to the March Treat Box Reveal with me Sabrina from Seven Wishes. Hello everyone, welcome to another Treat Box Reveal today. It is March already, I don't know where the time is going. The weeks in February just flew by for me and before I knew it, it was the 1st of March. So in this month's treat box we found that it arrived in plastic wrapping which I thought was a fabulous idea especially if you're like me and you work full time and you often miss your treat box I've got one of those really old letter boxes which means that unfortunately even though it does state 99% of the boxes will fit through sadly mine is in the 1% that doesn't and it always goes to the post office so I always end it up with it a few days late um, and this is a fabulous idea it means that no one is going to sneak a peek inside and it also means that when I'm carrying it home it's a little bit more protected especially if it's raining which it is today and I'm just really really happy that Treatbox have come up with this fabulous idea and because it's all personalized as well I think it's a great addition so whoever came up with that in the team deserves a gold star for definitely an excellent excellent way to uh, send the treat boxes out so moving on here we have it I've deliberately avoided most of social media again the last couple of days because I didn't want to spoil this for myself and let's have a look so what's inside your March treat box Take five away from everything and enjoy unwrapping this box. So here we have the March calendar. That's fabulous. And inside we also have what is inside our treat box, I'm guessing. We have a variety of things and I can't wait to have a look. First of all, is the print. This says, if I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honey bee. <laughs> there we go, lovely print, very unusual pattern as well, with the uh, sweet honey from the honey bee. So, March of course is known as the start of spring and the end of winter and I think Zoe has tried to catch on to that. We often see a lot of more insects and things arriving this time of year and I think that's what the bee theme is all about. We have a very sunny yellow paper to start us off and it says be happy. Reminds me of that song. Don't worry. Be happy. So as we get inside our beautiful sunshine paper we have a card first of all which says hello honey which is blank so you can send it to anyone and then we have another one which says happy kind you very cute I like the bumblebees next off we have wildflower seeds that's a lovely idea i am signed up to the um grow wild anyway and they send me seeds every year to sow and encourage birds and insects and things into my garden i can recommend that everybody sows these because we're helping the bees and without the bees we wouldn't have the fruit and the flowers and everything else that we all enjoy so so much so do be kind to bees it's a wonderful thing to do and when the weather gets a little bit warmer you can sow your seeds and if you're not sure when to sow them for your area of the country you can always pop online on uh, various websites and i think the bbc nature programs as well will be encouraging people to to plant seeds as well we also have nail clippers and I think it's an emery board as well. I think the emery board is 
this part with the flowers on and then we have the clippers in the middle which is a lovely idea and it's nice to to look at as well you know nail clippers are not the nicest thing and we often throw them in drawers and forget about them but if that was um standing on your dressing table i think that would look really really nice now then this looks delicious this is a salted caramel honeycomb bar and i think i'll be fighting my uh, my husband who will probably want to try it as well it says light and crisp salted honeycomb made with honey and covered in a caramel flavor belgian milk chocolate and it's gluten free as well absolutely wonderful and it does state as well that it is bee friendly which is wonderful i do try and support things uh, that in this country in the united kingdom that help all the nature and animals and things i'm a huge nature enthusiast so where i can do my bit i will do that's lovely and then underneath we have a cocoa shea butter and honey british honey bath melt and although it looks like a giant bar of chocolate that i'd love to tuck into i wouldn't recommend eating it it says melts to create a skin nourishing bath oil snap off one to four squares and add them to your tub that just sounds divine and it doesn't really smell of anything but i'm sure that once you've uh, put it in your warm bath water it had uh, it had well smell really really nice with all natural ingredients as well 100 percent natural bee friendly and uh helps you get nice skincare while you have a soak in the bath and this one here is a 90 percent recycled product from save the planet this base material of bag is actually made from plastic bottles that have been recycled which is fantastic and it's a zip bag as well so you could use it as a lunchbox or carrying bottles on a picnic that kind of thing i'm not sure if you guys can can see that on the video but if i put my hand over it you can see the rough rough diameters of it you could get at least, say, four cans of, uh, of drink in there, all those little small water bottles. Really, really nice. And because it's made from recycled material as well, and then it's being reused, it is, you know, saving the planet one little bit at a time. And I am hugely into recycling. We must take two bin bags a week to, uh, to our local recycling plant, and we completely feel like we do our bit. So if any of you out there need a little bit of encouragement, I'd say the best thing to do is start by reusing products and thinking, can I use this again? Or if I recycle it, you know, am I doing some good to the planet? And it is because obviously people who have recycled their bottles, lovely products have been made out of them, such as bags like these. This is a really, really lovely treat box and I'm really happy that Zoe has not only helped uh, local communities and local businesses in the UK by buying more items once again from the United Kingdom, but also we feel like we're doing our bit by reusing things and supplying seeds for the bees later on in the year. And then we've got the treats for ourselves as well. Thank you very much for joining me for this March treat box reveal. We have the bag, the calendar, two cards, the print, the seeds for the bees, the bath melt, the honeycomb bar for ourselves and the nail clippers as well. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this reveal and I hope I can see you again next time. Thank you for watching.